right, here's a quick video about one of the most powerful breakthroughs I've ever had uh, along my journey. It happened actually at the CrossFit gym and in relation to my participation in a mastermind group, a high-level mastermind group. Uh, the breakthrough results ended up showing up in every other area of my life. Uh, primarily, my finances was the biggest noticeable difference, and then secondarily, my relationship. The key here was that I knew what to do, but I wasn't doing it. So in my life, I was overweight, I was unhealthy, I was unfit, and I knew I needed to eat right, I needed, knew I needed to exercise, but I just wasn't doing it. So I look all around me today and I see this old pattern that I used to play out in all kinds of people all over the place. People know what they need to do, but they're not doing it, and they're in denial about what it is, where they're at, and what it is they want, and how good their life actually is slash isn't. So here's a quick map I made up today. I'm going to share it. I want to get through this as quickly as possible. Because I know I'm busy. I know you're busy. So let's get right in. So this first part of the map is about this prison, this victim experience of, of being stuck in this prison or this place in our life where I know what to do, but I don't do it. And I look at people and, and it's hard to believe why I used to be that way and what was keeping me that way and why 95% of people out there are doing the same thing. So most of the people or myself in, that, in this place, I felt stuck. There was like this ceiling on how high I could go and how much I could accomplish. I was unhappy with my financial success. I was unhappy with how I looked and felt physically. I was in denial about where I actually was, what my results were. I was unhappy in general. I was unfulfilled. I didn't have a sense of deep spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, financial, or social fulfillment. I had mediocre relationships. I had a lack of spiritual connection. I was unhappy with my sex life, and I had a lot of hopes and dreams and a lot of someday maybes, but because of the things or the gap that was actually stopping me from moving forward and doing the things I knew I needed to do, I was stuck in this prison and I didn't know how to get out. This brings us over to the paradise over here. The paradise is the new place, the place that Anyone gets to go if they choose to go there. And there's some certain steps that it takes to get there, and I'll share a little bit about that as we move forward in this video. But over here in paradise, it's about having it all. You get to have the fit body. You get to have the health, the fitness, the vitality, the aliveness. You get to have the passion. You get to have the prosperity, the happiness, the peace, fulfillment, freedom, Vitality, the certainty. Over there, there's plenty of money, there's plenty of love, plenty of connection, plenty of health, and plenty of the opposite of what's happening in the prison. And the, the thing about this is, is for those of you out there who are overweight, you know what you need to do. You need to eat right and exercise, but you just don't do it. And... You know, a lot of cases, there's people that actually don't know what to do. They don't know what to do to get healthy. They don't know what to do to create amazing relationships. They don't know how to create an amazing spiritual connection or fulfillment. So there's, there's the case of not knowing how. And that's one scenario. But then there's the, the cases where we actually know what we need to do, but we're not doing it. And that's the main thing I'm talking about here. So the first step is to face what is. This is how it is right now. Accept responsibility for that. Know that you are the creator of your life. You're no longer the victim. It's not just happening to you. This is what it is. I'm responsible for it. There's some lies I'm believing about life that I believe to absolutely be true that are holding me back and keeping me stuck. There's some stories and some limiting beliefs that are keeping me stuck. There's some self-worth issues that make me think I'm not worthy and that I don't deserve to have it all. Those are keeping me stuck or I'm keeping myself stuck with those things. 
and there's a bunch of things that I'm doing that are not working and I'm stuck in my ego and my pride that's keeping me from moving forward or seeking help, getting advice, assistance, and guidance from people who can help me get unstuck. Then I got to make a choice. What do I really want? What does my paradise look like? What does my ideal life look like? What do my ideal relationships look like? What would my life look like spiritually if I were to have what I wanted? Because most of the time we're believing that it's an either-or scenario. Either I can have the business I want, I can have the financial success I want, or I can have the spiritual experience that I want to have. Or I can fulfill my purpose that God has for me. Or we think that either I can have those things or I can have my relationship. And the truth is I can have my fitness, I can have my amazing relationships, I can have my health, I can have my spirituality, and I can be prosperous all at the same time. It's, a, it's about an and world instead of an either or world. So what does my ideal world look like financially? And what, what about in my health? part of my life and where would I like to live and what is my home like and what is my purpose? Why am I here? What brings me a sense of fulfillment beyond being the hamster on the hamster wheel, earning some more cash to pay some more bills just to live another month? The next step was to commit. Then we face counter commitments and it's about committing 100% because when you commit and you move forward in this desired direction, you will run into obstacles and hurdles and walls and every possible thing that could stop you. There will be storms that feel bigger than you and overwhelming. And you will either do what it takes to overcome those and grow to become a bigger person that is bigger than those problems, those obstacles, those hurdles, that storm, or you will be overcome by them and fall back into victimhood and go back to your same old ways. So we got to discuss some of the steps that were keeping me from taking those actions, which one was self-discipline. I knew what I needed to do, but I didn't have the self-discipline to do it, and I actually resisted the word discipline at all odds. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was so busy rebelling from any form of discipline that I, was, I would turn the other way at the mere thought of it. I didn't have follow-through as a result of that. I would play mind games and hear voices in my head that when the alarm clock went off and said, it's time to go to the gym, the voices would say, just sleep a little longer. Oh, you don't need it. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Whatever. I needed accountability. In the beginning, I could not make it to the gym on my own. Accountability was key. So I set up accountability. You will want some in your journey as well. Self-love. When the gym at first was a punishment and something I needed to do to prove my worthiness, it didn't work. But when I moved into a state of, I love myself so fully, therefore I go to the gym because I deserve to have it all. I deserve to feel amazing. The dynamic completely shifted. Impeccable integrity. Final thing on that list is all about, if you want sustainable success, you will have impeccable integrity. You will be your word, and that goes much deeper as all of this does. This is a very, like a 30,000 foot view of some very deep and powerful subjects that we don't have the time to dive into today, or at least I guess we do have the time, but I'm not choosing to make the time to dive into that right now. Last step is actual action. We've overcome all those things. We've identified, we've faced, we've accepted, we've gained clarity. Now it's time to take action. We want it to be inspired action because anyone can go out and spin their wheels and take stupid action and check your emails 50 times a day and run around like a madman with your head cut off. But if you're not taking the time to connect on a deeper level and be inspired about what's going to help you get what you, where you need to go next, it's, it's a waste of time and energy. It's very inefficient. You want to connect with a why, some deeper sense of why are you doing this because when that storm comes in, it's not going to be easy, and if you're not connected with that why, you will get hung up and you will have the tendency to turn away, go back to where you started. You want to take consistent action because so many people go on a diet, a starvation diet or some short 
plan and think, okay, I'm going to lose the weight and then I can go back to the same way I was before. Guys, gals, when you make changes, make them a lifestyle, a permanent lifestyle change. If you want permanent results, you must be aligned with the principle that predicates that blessing permanently. Otherwise, you will get short-term results only for the term that you are committed to that principle and aligned with those principles. So consistent action is key. Take action only that you want to do, or in other words, only take action that you want to do. When you commit to things you don't want to do, chaos ensues. The three D's is about delegating, deleting, and developing the proper things, which leads us to the next line, genius, and aligned action, and third way, which means find the things that you absolutely love to do, that you are awesome at. Focus on those things. Develop those things that you're passionate about. Everything else can be deleted and delegated. And everything else is a waste of your time and it's not the best use of your resources. You can make far more money doing what you love, helping people in the ways that you rock at and have other people rock at what they rock at. Third way is the final message on this gap map and that is it's not all about doing. It is a lot about doing, but behind the scenes it's also about being. Who are you being? How are you being? How are you feeling inside? If you're not at peace, if you're not enjoying the journey, and if you're not creating spaciousness around the action, it'll be a whole lot of action without a whole lot of fulfillment, and it won't be as easy as it could be. Guys, this is a lot of information. We've only touched the surface. I just wanted to stop by for a minute today, share with you. You can have everything you want in your life. There's some beliefs to change. There's some thought patterns to change. There's some shit to let go of. There's some commitment, some accountability, some support. There's some knowledge you need to gain that will get you from the prison, prison to the paradise. There's some things that will fill in a gap and build a bridge that will give you a path from prison to paradise. You can either do that alone or you can get help from somebody who's already been there. Have an amazing rest of the week. Have an amazing weekend. And good luck, best wishes to having it all. Let me know how I can help.